Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Addict today. And today we've got a, a vacuum in here. That's been on Carl's once list for about four years actually this yeah. one. Never ever seen a bear find one or get one. Um, there are a few around but they just seem to get snapped up straight away. This one's not perfect but as long as it works. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Um, did have a chance to get one the other day actually, only about 125 miles from the house, but when I when we agreed the postage, um, somebody else I think has snapped it up and said or oh, well, whatever, maybe offer them more for it. So they like say don't matter because at the end of the day we've actually got the better model of this particular version of a uh, vacuum. So if Carl was going to choose one of these, I think this would be the model that out of all of them would be the one that uh, this, uh, hit this. The guy, it was a pick, local pickup only, but I persuaded the seller to uh, post the item. And I think um, I also steered into the right, the right, uh, right way to actually get it fairly a good courier service for, for quite cheap. So uh, yeah, so he's well wrapped it. Uh, you said you might have been cutting the wrong stuff a bit. You've no, I like it cutting the... I like cutting the... I know on the average it has it been cutting freaking stupid stuff, but... It no, you can't cut paper with it. Anyway, you... You can't cut paper with it. So yeah, it's really well wrapped it. Um, So it's really well wrapped here, and the good thing is that this box will be gone tomorrow because it's been collection day tomorrow for the green bin. Uh, so it does look like a boot. I'm hoping it's going to come in one piece. And it does. But I did say. But I uh, did say to the the seller that I want it well wrapped if possible. And, it, and, it, and it's all, a wrap and it is broken. I, I hate this seller. I was, I was giving one star. No, I think they, at the end of the day, hopefully, we'll get one. Uh, it's going to have, this one looks like he's had a couple of repairs done by a shop because there are some genuine parts put on it. I'll explain when we see inside. Um, it's got a little bit of Is that the back, mate? So he's wrapped it quite well, considering. Um, over the years I've had ones wrapped in like just bubble wrap. I think it's bubble wrap inside with cardboard on the outside. So as long as it comes in one piece and it runs. You know. That's it mate. Well now I've wrapped it well haven't you? That one there. Ah! So at the moment it's looking fairly... Oh, it does have holes. Ah! Well, that's a tool holder. Comes off. Alright. What that says? Yeah. So it pipe it holder down. and pipe. He invited it down! Yeah. This guy is so good. Is it the best guy at Cactus Hoover? I've had, I've had a few smashed terrible powers in the top, in, in the, yeah, uh, in the time. Um, so I'm hoping that this one will come in one piece and will be usable because um, Carl's been waiting years to get hold of one of these. Um, well not, we don't want every single one of these, we just want one that works. No, you know? I want a perma bag. No, I don't want a perma bag. No, no, this is the one where the guy wanted, no, the guy went, went to the gym for one. This is one he really wanted. Yeah, this Watched is. Watched the video today, and he said he, and he said he wanted this one with me because he like the one with the cord one. Yeah, so this is the all the bells and whistles on this one. So it's got all the all the bits and bobs. Uh, you have to uh, can grab a screwdriver. All right. Because I have to screw the second handle. Well, let's get this section here out. We should really get this open first. Is this one? Do this. Yeah, it's really well wrapped it. Oh, it I'll be amazed if it's smashed. But I'll probably jinx it now. It's the wheels you've got to watch for those things. 
the wheels are quite fragile. Mind you, it was built in the 90s, this one. Um, so that's a replacement part there. Um, oh, the hose is replacement. So it should be a different colour. Then yeah, the hose has been replaced. How about how it goes on the cleaner there? I don't know, mate. So that's, that's the first part of it. Cut that off. There you go, cut right through nice bands of these. There's the screws, what screws on to? Yeah, well, how about we get the, get, get the machine open now? We don't worry about that. Now you put it in with the rubbish. Now just put that up out of the way. Hopefully mm -hmm. we'll have a hose for this to go on the side, but I'm not bothered. It's, all, it's off colour at this point. Yeah, I won't worry about that. Is this, one our, this ain't our Daisy X one, is it? Because it was white, wasn't it? Because he's actually white in it and ruined it, didn't he? Help me! Hang on. Right, let's stop the video now and get this one out properly. What? Yes, uh, this is what Carl's got. Uh, we have uh, got a U5096. And there's a YouTube channel called that, but... Yeah, this one is a U5096. This is a Hoover Turbo Master Electronic. Um, been after he's been after any Turbo Master for many years, for about four years, four plus years. But uh, like you say, this one is not in the most perfect condition because the train spotter will say, "Ah, oh, yeah, the handle's wrong on that." But at the end of the day, and when you see a vacuum which looks like it's been this one to me looks like it's been um, serviced at repair shops. Um, it's got the original cap back on. This handle must have got busted. But these, like Turbo Power Stroke Turbo Masters, quite brittle. The plastic's not very good quality at all on them. They're, they're prone for fading as well. This one's faded a little bit. It's gone a little bit yellow, but it's not really that bad. So this one. And who's got a spare shadow? I don't know. Also, as well, like I said earlier, this part here should be the same colour as the machine. So this is, so we should imagine what's happened is they've replaced the handle and this part here. The shine is up. This also, it, to me, the Hoover Turbo Master was later than the Turbo Power, um, and it was to me the one that uh, was replacement of the Hoover Senior because this one has a wider track. It's got the same width track as a Hoover Senior. Um, yeah, it also has a this one being the, the electronic also has a auto cable rewind very much like how I think the concept ones had them in and, America and I think that side is original yeah so we have had a quick go on this supposed to be back. and even though it may not be that supposed to be back yeah me? Even though there's a, a replacement part here and a replacement part here, it does run really well. Well, people's going to think this. This is the people's going to think it is for the bus run. It's not. It's actually for the hose. Right. So that there. It's for the hose. Is a valve for the bus run. And that. You also got a carpet mode and a hard floor mode. The hard floor mode. Do it is. Has got. A, it's got a clutch on it. Very much. Yeah, like, it's pretty hard to do it. Yeah. Very much like the Dyson DC07 and DC03. How do you do it now? I don't know, mate. You're going to have to cock it back down. Can turn it off now? No. I don't know how to turn it I off. I don't know, mate. So what we'll do now, we'll get this one running. This vacuum has survived transit from one end of the country to the other. And I accidentally broke the bulb. How do I know I broke, we broke the bulb? Because basically... I've actually, we've actually tested this one um, just after we fit this thing and it was all running lovely. This is the bulb here. This one here reminds me of the sort of bulb you get in the um, Hoover. Um, not concept one. Oh, I can't no, think. No. The bagless one. What's that one called? Decade 80. The Decade 80 has got two of these in there. So, so what happened was, Carl, I fiddled around the vacuum, switched it to hard floor, and accidentally it got 
the actual vacuum got bashed and the bulb stopped working. So no, on when you try to turn it off. Yeah, we were trying to get it. We tried to get the thing turned off because we didn't know how to do it because we ain't got the instructions, mind you. So this one, like I said back earlier, to me was the replacement to the Hoover Senior because it's got the wider track on it. It was designed for the bigger homes. Uh, I think we'll get the meat and sticker on this one while we get the chance and we get in there. So it's a U5096905, so it's March, May 1989. So this is a late 80s vacuum. This was like a lot of everybody wants these, but this one is the uh, what they call the better one out of the two. There's the Parma bag one like this as well. But the Parma bag Achilles heel is the actual Parma bag. Yeah, but it didn't have a cord one though. It did. No, didn't. didn't have a quarter one, no. No, no, it is the luxury model. Ah, so this is the luxury model. So it's got a quarter rewind. Um, it's missing the tools, and, but we've got tools to go on there. I went to the tip one to one, please. Yeah. So this one, um, I have, um, before we've actually started putting a brand new bulb in it, I've actually put an, a faulty LED bulb I've, I've had from the car. So we will have the LED front lights, which makes it look nice anyway. And the Turbo Masters with all these numbers on the front always look better with the LED. Um, so, and it's quite a powerful one. So it's a 1989 model, because been after a, any sort of Turbo Master for about four years. That's our number four, that's that light was showing out to give the system. So, system. the other thing is, Oh, great pain, it's just one of the things. This machine's 30 years old, it's been well used and looked uh, after. That's a bit wonky. Yeah. As you can see, look, the brush roll teeth or bristles are pretty worn out on uh, that side. Things. Yeah, that's because that's, that's wonky and that's pushing down. So we oh. can look at that. We'll look at all that. Um, That's why it's like that. See, that's. So there's that one there, because it's angled, look. It's wearing on that side more than that side, but we don't use it as a daily driver. It's just going to be one in this collection. Um, you know, it says it's. It's just turned that down to. So what we'll do now? No, this, we'll see that little shot. This see one as well. I've noticed it. It says there's a piece of paper in there saying it had a reconditioned motor in 1990. What did reconditioned <coughs> motor mean? Rebuilt. Oh, it's just a rebuilt motor. A rebuilt motor in 1995. And like, so this one does run really well. Um, so like you say, never judge a box by its cover, is the old saying. And like you say, it, it's, it's not 100%. Uh, That's all right, move on that. So let's get this one switched on and see how well it works. Come on then, mate, get it switched on then. So what we'll do now, Carl's going to fire this up. The, the actual LED is going to uh, flicker because that's why it got taken out of the car. Um, a lot of these cheap LED bulbs buy the cars crap anyway. So it does run really well. Um, like you say, the bulb was working perfectly. I'm not going to put uh, a proper Dad, bulb in yet. And on the video, I can get that bug off. Uh, I have to see, yeah. So let's give this one a quick go. So what have we got here? I'm so you've got a carpet mode and a hard floor mode. So you've got a touch on it. Uh, Make tight. And he's gone into a dirty fan. No, I couldn't get it. Oh, right. <laughs>
great really. Well, it, so what it could do with there's a new brush roll on it. We've also put a we put one of these proper bags in there. Um, so I have literally quarter, three quarters. Well, just like wiped it all out now. Um, so yeah, so it's all right really. It wasn't that expensive really for what what we've got. And like you say, the postage. I just missed that. I didn't make, yeah, we didn't make, they got the side, they didn't make nothing on postage either, and we paid, um, if, actually, very, very heavy box, actually, and they say, I was quite amazed that it's come, we chose Parcel Force, really, because Parcel Force is a bit more expensive, but generally, from experience, they do, they just seem to look after the stuff more than some of the other cheaper courier firms, what's it, what's he was saying, buy cheap, buy twice, isn't it, what's he was saying, isn't it, Buy cheap, and, you, and, they, and it comes small, smashed to bits, and then you've got to buy another one. So we, we've been for the more expensive courier, and it's come one piece. The guys wrapped it brilliantly. We broke the bulb, even though it's gone from the other end of the country to the other. But I've got a spare bulb in the shed, so we, uh, when the vacuum on, let's get it right. F. We, we, yeah. I think that means F for cleaning. Yeah. What the hell is this over there? Now that there, yeah, that's an interesting one. That there, yeah, that, that's the original sticker there, but it's burnt into the actual machine. No, and that, and that's actually in the, in the actual sticker, and he pulled off the pass a bit, or not? No, it's never been on it. The pass it thing? Yeah, it's it's done like what I beat he it. He pulled the pass it thing off? Yeah. And that's what the mouse is on? Yeah, so it's actually. What uh, the hell that says? Bleach the sticker. Oh, let's have a look. Perfect for carpet care, hard floor cleaning to wide. Swept path, cleaning tools attached, air freshener, electronic power control, automatic Corby wine, and f five year fixed park guarantee. I just want that clean thing right there. So it looks like to me that the motor had literally gone right after the guarantee run out, or. No. Or that could have been done under the warranty. Actually, the motor could have been done under the warranty. Because oh. if it was if it's produced in 1989 and it was and the motor was replaced in 1995, he may have bought this in 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 the early 90s. So it was more than he done. On, that's why it runs so well. No, look, that <coughs> is the cream thing. Yeah, that's right. Under your so yeah, so cream meditation. So like you say, on the next video, hopefully we'll get ourselves a new brush roll and we'll give it a good going round. Uh, give it a good uh, test. See how well this uh, yeah, da, da, terrible mouse ele electronic does. So what do you say now, Kyle? Bye for now. Please subscribe to Vacuum Out. And thank you very much for watching. And see you on the next one.